Hey, what's going on? My name is Louis. Today is October 17, 2024. And God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news coming out when it comes to nation against nation. It says here the U.S. president has released a statement regarding the elimination of sin war. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Now, once again, he was the leader of H-A-M-A-S. I'm not going to say that name on this platform, guys. Now, we do have more breaking news updates. The Holy Land broadcasting the breaking news that they have eliminated Sin War. All right, guys, before I start, let's go with the verse of the day. It's very important to get into scriptures. In these last days, it's always important to get into scriptures every moment, every every minute. Stay in prayer. Fill your mind with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're going to go with the book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse 17. He who heeds discipline shows the way to life. But whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Let's go with the... Uh, thoughts on today's verse please share the video it says here god has given each of us a circle of influence a place where our lives impact others for either good or ill in much the same way each of us is also influenced by others some of whom can help us see and overcome our problems and shortcomings while others seem to only drag us down into the mire of sin. However, if we reject or snub discipline and correction, we not only harm ourselves, but also lead others astray. We drag others down with us into the mirror of sin. Other choices don't just determine our destination, they also significantly impact others for good or evil. Mm. Here's a prayer. Dear God, please forgive my times of foolish arrogance and lazy indifference to your truth, correction, and wisdom. You have humbled me by the realization that you have made my life a significant influence on others. So, please empower me, dear Father, to use that influence to gently and humbly lead others in the way of your life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday Florida 34691. Guys, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. The link will be in the comments box. It says here the bear warns the Holy Land against striking Persia nuclear facility. It's not only the bear, but also Persia. Persia is coming out. Persia General said we will soon reveal. A powerful equipment, more sophisticated than drones, missiles, and nuclear technology that would change everything. That link will be in the comments box. Now, guys, the video I posted, it was kind of short. I had to kind of end it. My mother-in-law came in, and she's like, you know, the insurance company are out there. And I had to cut it, uh, cut it short because that was very important. I couldn't... I uh, continued the video. I had to go out there. You guys know we got hit by Hurricane Hurricane Milton. And so the insurance guy, he was out here taking pictures of the roof, taking pictures of all the stuff that's damaged. And so I had to be there. And it was very important. So I had to kind of cut the video short. So, uh, again, you know, that had to come first. But uh, hopefully you guys understand that part. Um, and we would keep it updated when it comes to Hurricane Milton aftermath. Uh, a lot of stuff did get damaged. The company said, yeah, your roof is shingles is all over the place. You need to kind of uh, get this fixed. So, again, uh, they're going to contact us in the next couple of days. But thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much, guys. 
All right, let's see what's going on here. U.S. President has released a statement regarding the elimination of Sin War. Uh, once again, very, very powerful individual who was taken out yesterday. Ooh. With him stating, this is a good day for the Holy Land, for the Sleeping Giant, and for the world. Let me zoom this in really quick and see what the president had to say. And guys, you know, a lot of this stuff is written by others. So I do believe uh, there's a possibility it was, you know, it was written by other people. And just like his account, he doesn't run his account. Someone else runs it. All right. So a statement from the Sleeping Giant leader <clears throat> early this morning. The Holy Land authorities informed my national security team that a mission they conducted in the Strip likely taken out of someone very important, Sinwar. Now, the DNA tests have now confirmed that Sinwar gone. The name itself is terrible. I mean, it, it, it just is Sin and then you have War. So this is a good day for the Holy Land, for the Sleeping Giant, and for the world. As the leader of these bad groups, Sinwar was responsible for the takeout of thousands of Holy Lands, Palestinian, and Sleeping Giant citizens from, from over 30 countries. He was the mastermind of October. Ooh, a lot of stuff happened that day. It was on his orders that these group invaded the Holy Land to intentionally and with unspeakable savaging, taking out innocents. Again, young ones in front of their parents and parents in front of their young ones. Now it says here over 1,200 were out on that day. It was the most, uh, one of the huge event day for the JEWS since. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that name there, guys. Including 46 sleeping giant citizens. More than 250 were taken, with 101 still missing. The numbers include seven sleeping giant citizens, four of whom are believed to still be alive and held by those group. Sinwar is the man most responsible for this and for so much of what followed. We have a second part here. Let me just fix this really quick so you guys have a better view. There we go. Shortly after the October event, I direct the special operation personnel and our intelligence professionals to work side by side with their Holy Land counterparts to help locate and track down this individual and others leaders hiding in the strip. I must remind you, this is from the US president. With our intelligence help, the Holy Land military relentlessly persuade the leaders of flushing them out of their hiding places and forcing them onto the run. There has rarely been a military campaign like this, with those leaders living and moving through hundreds of miles of tunnels, organized in multiple stories underground, determined to protect themselves with no care for the civilian suffering above ground. Today, however, proves once again that no bad groups anywhere in the world can escape justice no matter how long it takes. To my Holy Land friends, this is no doubt a day of relief and reminiscence similar to the scenes witnessed throughout the Sleeping Giant after the 44th order to take the raid out of Mr. Ben, you guys know his name, in 2011. The Holy Land 
has had every right to eliminate the leadership and military structure of those bad groups. Those bad groups is no longer capable of carrying out another October. So does this mean it's, it's over? Can we end the biblical war? I will be speaking soon with Benjamin and other Holy Land uh, leaders to congratulate them to discuss the pathway for bringing the innocent back home to their families and for ending this biblical war once and for all, which has caused so much headache, put it like that. There are, There is now the opportunity for a day after in the GAZA strip without those bad group in power and for a political settlement that provides a better future for the Holy Land and the Palest alike. This person, Sin War, was an in where he was uh, one of those bad dudes obstacle to achieving all of those goals. That obstacle no longer exists, but much work remains before us. Once again, this is coming out from the leader of the sleeping giant. This is coming out from the leader. Now, the Holy Land is broadcasting. Uh, again, it's, you know, a celebration going on. I guess, uh, broadcasting good news. The Holy Land, the Holy Land broadcasting agency confirms the takeout of Sin War. The Holy Land officials, Hebrew Broadcast Authority, has confirmed out. Gone. Finito. No more. This marks a significant development in the Holy Land ongoing military operation against these group leadership. Emergency broadcast. Emergency statement. According to the U.S. and the Holy Land, the world is a better place. But the Bible says something else. That in the last days, there will be wars and rumors of wars. For kingdom will rise again, kingdom and nation against nations. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think it's over. Paris of Genoa said we will soon reveal a very powerful equipment, more sophisticated than drones, missiles, and nuclear technology that will change everything. Check out the video I posted today. So, is it is the world a better place? You need to understand something, guys. That's yes, they have done an operation and the operations completed, but it doesn't mean that uh, we all, you know, kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya, and everything is fine and dandy. Uh, again, the Bible says in the last days, there will be so many things to come. And these are the signs of Jesus Christ's return. All right, the son of perdition, the Antichrist, will rise to power. There will be persecution on um, when it comes to the church. There will be many things to come. In the last days, uh, peace will be replaced with destruction. But we have true peace, and his name is Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus. Repent. Repent. Believe in Jesus. And receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. All right, guys. So this is the breaking news. Give me a second here. I want to pull up some more information. Give me a second here, guys. We have more breaking news updates. Benjamin is speaking. Yes, Benjamin. He is speaking. Benjamin said, Send war. Gone. This is the end of the rule of H-A-M-A-S. It is over. Send war made his final preparation for the event on October. I am standing here today to tell you that he, he has been gone. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. 
We have settled our account with him, but our mission is not yet complete. Ah! So the biblical war would go on. That was the question I asked earlier. Does this mean that the biblical war is over? Our mission is not complete. That's coming out from Ben. It's not over. It's not over. It seems like because Hellsbull is the next one. You guys know who Hellsbull is, right? And then they want to go after Persia. Persia is going to be like the final one. But the problem with Persia, the bear, Russia, North K, and the Red Dragon. Dear families of the hostage, this is a very important moment in the biblical war. We will continue with all our strength until all your beloved um, taken, whom we love so much, are brought home. This is a supreme commitment to everyone in the strip. He was hiding in a small, dark cave. He was taken out while trying to flee from our soldiers. This marks the end of the evil rule of H-A-M-A-S. I am telling you clearly, these groups will no longer rule the strip. Now is your opportunity to be freed from your... I'm going to skip that name... I am also telling you, or your leaders will be gone. Those who bring back our innocent will be saved. But those who harm our innocent, believe me, their days are numbered. Mm, all right. That's coming out from Ben, and I just shared the information. We have more breaking news up there. Everybody's coming out. Uh, you have the speaker. Speaker, Mr. Johnson, justice has been served. Sin war, gone. Justice has once again been served by the brave men and women of the Holy Land military. The vile, disgusting person who orchestrated the October event, gone. Sin war life was the, give me a second here. Emboldenment of evil and marked by hatred for all that is good in the world. His uh, takeout brings hope for all those who seek to live in freedom and relief to the Holy Land he has sought to oppress. Let this be a reminder to those group and all those who were involved in the event. You may try to terror war and intimidate, but those who live under the banner of freedom will never surrender. The eternal, f give me a second. The eternal flame of liberty and the faith of the JEWS people would never be snuffed out by the darkness. And let's give some of these words here. Still, the takeout of this man is not the end of the Holy Land. So again, even even Mr. Johnson saying the takeout of this individual is not the end. All right, it's not the end yet of the Holy Land fight for a survivor. It's not the end yet. So these biblical wars will continue on. It will continue on. At this moment with the, again, I'm just going to skip the rest of this here, guys. So everybody just putting out the information, their statement, congratulations, Holy Land, you have taken out and you have uh, ended their missions. So they are no longer in power. So very important statements by multiple people. Very important people. Important people. Give me a second here. Let's see if there's any more updates. We have more breaking news. 
following the elimination of the leader of that group, Sinwar, the Holy Land sent a message to a negotiator in Qatar, stating that now was the chance to achieve a cease wow F I R E but that senior of those group officials outside of the strip must realize that the condition of the innocents is now their responsibility. Wow that's huge Release the innocent surrender and the biblical war ends today otherwise we're not leaving the strip someone said Mm. A lot of breaking news coming out. Okay, guys, please share the video. This is where we are right now. This is a big breaking news. Uh, emergency broadcast. Emergency broadcast, uh, statements, uh, announcement by the president. I mean, this is a this is a good day. It sounds great and all that, but uh, then you have scriptures. The Bible tells us in the last days, there's gonna be some some stuff to come. So again, please share the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, check out the video I posted today. The links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.